Snooze about three times, get out of bed, get ready and have breakfast just before I run out the door. Um, literally wake up, snooze about three times, um, got my clothes ready from the night before, get changed, have a cup of tea and then I'm out of the front door, that's it. There's a lot of things you can do to, to feel better in your morning, just get kind of that super start to the day. I think firstly, if you find it difficult waking up, use nature. For years, we didn't wake up with noisy alarm clocks. We actually woke up with the sun. So the simple you know, act of sort of sleeping with your blinds up and waking up slowly as the sun rises will allow your body to wake in a much more natural way. If you're insisting on the alarm clock thing, fair enough, but don't press snooze. We know that makes people more tired. Instead, as soon as you hear it, make a point of getting up, getting out of bed. Yes, I do skip breakfast during the working week. I do skip breakfast every single day, yeah. A healthy breakfast is really important. Again, we want to feed our brains, you know? We've, we've, we've fasted for a good eight, nine hours while we were asleep, and probably a couple of hours before that, before we went to bed. So your body is ready to, to kind of be, be nourished and hydrated, so it's important that you do that. And even if you're not one of those people that can eat right away, ensure that when you get into the office that you have something. A lot of the way that our body functions and our nervous system functions allows us to be conscious of some things, but let other things things go into autopilot. Now, one of the things that the Quaker research brought up was that somewhere in the region of 63% of us wind up at work and can't really remember how we got there. Now, this is because of habituation. We're so used to going through the motions, right, of going into your car or going to the bus stop or the tube station, getting on, either driving there or taking the train there or whatnot, that it, it's not something that we think about. We're much more engaged with what we're reading or what the person next to us is wearing or what we're listening to. And as a consequence, it feels like that whole part of our of our day, that whole process, is something that's that we, we let that automatic pilot part of our brain uh, take over.